This is an article from Curious Kids, a series for children. The conversation is asking kids to send in questions they'd like an expert to answer. All questions are welcome, serious, weird or wacky. We know that at one point humans did have fur. But we don't know why we lost it, so we have to guess. Scientists think that our ancestors, so think of your grandmother's 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 grandmother but over a million years ago, experienced a very big change in the climate. The world became much hotter, and that meant that people had to start traveling further and further to find food. Drivni Jablonski, an expert on ancient humans, thinks that slightly less hairy people may have been in better shape to travel these distances because they would have been able to keep cool more easily. So if you're less hairy, it means you can travel a long way, which means you can eat more food. If you're more hairy, it means you can only travel a short way before you get too hot, which means you find less food and go hungry. That means the people with less hair were the ones who stayed alive long enough to have kids. And just like how you might have the same eye or hair color as one of your parents, those kids also inherited having less hair from their parents. That's why nowadays you won't see very furry humans. Read more, Curious Kids, where does the oxygen come from in the International Space Station, and why don't they run out of air? All mammals, warm-blooded animals, have body hair, which protects their skin from sunlight and means it won't get cut or grazed as much, but every animal has different kinds of hair for different reasons, such as Staying warm is easier for bigger animals, which may explain why smaller primates like monkeys tend to have thicker hair than bigger ones like chimpanzees, gorillas and orangutans. But that doesn't explain why human hair is so fine and short so there are still lots of questions that even scientists can't always answer. Read more, Curious Kids, How Do X-Rays See Inside You? Did you know, when we lost our hair it meant that nothing was protecting our skin against the sun? We think that we lost our hair at the same time as when people started getting darker skin, because darker skin protects you from the sun better than paler skin. One person who studies genes, the instructions that your body gets from your parents, is geneticist Alan Roggers. He estimated that the gene, or instruction, that makes dark skin is just over one million years old. So we think this is when our ancestors were also losing their fur. I hope you aren't disappointed that we can't give you a simple answer. On the other hand, we still have an interesting mystery to solve. Hello, curious kids. Have you got a question you'd like an expert to answer? Ask an adult to send your question to us. They can, asterisk email your question to curiouskids at thecoversashow.edu.au asterisk tell us on Twitter by tagging at conversationedu with the hashtag hash curiouskids or asterisk tell us on Facebook. Please tell us your name, age, and which city you live in. You can send an audio recording of your question too, if you want.